But believe it or not, I am convinced that this happened because I'm guest hosting today. We have major NFL breaking news to start the show. The New England Patriots have gotten and acquired their presumed starting quarterback for the 2021 season. Now, I'm going to go around to the Danettes because I love the Danettes. And by the way, I don't I don't say suck it back row. I love the back row. Okay? There you go. All right. So the first question would be this. Before, you guys all know because we talked about it. But if I had just said Patriots acquired their quarterback for 2021, Fritzy, who would have been your guess? I would have said that they probably would have kept Cam back for one more year based on what they can – because everything you're hearing about Deshaun Watson and all these guys, maybe Jimmy Garoppolo might have popped into my mind before to bring him back. McLovin? Yeah, I hate to be exactly – it was only Cam or Jimmy G were the only – I had two names, and that's the only two. Seton? I hate to say it, but I've said a couple times that I think they were bringing Cam back. Pauly? Sam Darnold. I did not think they were going to bring Cam back. I did not. I did not think it went very well last year. I did not think that they would bring Cam back. And and here's the thing. If we're using logic right now, it can't be one of the guys that's a free agent because free agency doesn't start till March 17th. It can't be a draft pick because the draft's not till late April. So the only people it could have been were, would be either Cam or a trade for like a Sam Darnold or a Jimmy G. I don't think I would have guessed Jimmy G this morning. So I probably would have said Cam just because of, what is that, deductive reasoning? Is that what I just did right there? Did I just do deductive reasoning? That's Ivy League talk. Now you're reasoning. talking to me. Boom. Yes, Polly. Are they a contender or even close to being a Super Bowl contender with their current quarterback position? I don't think so. So what? why are you signing them? To, to do what? NBA. For both of them. For both parties. Cam and the Patriots, next best alternative. For Cam, he knows the offense. He's been there for a year. I don't think Cam was guaranteed to start anywhere else. This is a place where he at least knows he's got a seat at the table. Starting offense, please at the table. Remember when Fritzy got got Latimer on the show? <laughs> that was unbelievable. From the program? Starting defense, please at the table. <laughs> So anyway, the movie, the program, by the way, if you don't know, like when I say Latimer, if you don't know that that's from the movie, the program, <laughs> pull over in your car right now and reevaluate however you got to this point in your life <laughs> and then go back and watch the program. I've seen that movie 30, 40 times, but anyway, uh, starting offense plays at the table for Cam Newton. This was his next best alternative. And then I think for the Patriots, everything's very up in the air. You know, like, what free agents are they going to sign? Jameis Winston? Fitzpatrick? Are those guys going to be better for them in 2021 than a Cam who's actually been there for a year? Yes, Paul. Don't you think that by signing Cam Newton, it's obviously a one-year deal, that they'll take a quarterback in the second round and try to mold him into the next person, like they were trying to do with Jimmy Garoppolo, who they got in the second round? Well, it's certainly – it's funny. Everyone that has tweeted about this, okay – Jim McBride from the Boston Globe, Tom Pelissero from NFL Network, Adam Schefter from ESPN, they all went out of their way to say, this does not preclude the Patriots from doing other things at the quarterback position. It's almost like whoever leaked that to them and told them what the deal was is like, make it clear that we might do other stuff. Now, let's go deep into this, okay? Does that mean... They're not going to get another veteran. That seems unlikely. So... Does that mean that they're going to draft somebody? Or does that mean they want us to think they're going to draft somebody, but they're really not? McLovin, what do you think? Well, there's guys saying that they're going to trade up and get somebody at number four in the draft. That sounds like the most unpatriots move ever. They've never done anything like that. Here's the thing. I don't think they need to trade up. They're at 15. There are five quarterbacks and we'll talk to Dane Brugler about this in 15 minutes. But there are five quarterbacks who I've seen go in top tens of various mock drafts. Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, Mac Jones. One of those guys is going to fall to 15. I mean, it happens every year. One of those guys. Now, 
The question is, is it a guy that the Patriots would want? Is it the guy they want? Or is it the one or two that they want? Listen, it might be Trey Lance. There's a lot of risk there to taking a guy that's played one year of FCS football and has played one game in the last, whatever it is, year and a half. Don't you think Trey Lance would be the perfect guy to sit behind Cam for one year? They're similar. Trey Lance ran over 21 miles an hour in next-gen stats. He's got a lot of similarities to Cam. And he that would be the perfect guy for Trey Lance to learn from for a year. Yes, Paul. And there's other quarterbacks in play. If the you know the Falcons, I think the Falcons have the fourth pick of the draft. If they trade up or, or take a quarterback there, what if Matt Ryan is all of a sudden in play in late April? You know, that there's another guy who's you know still young enough to get a few years left. I don't know if that's necessary for the Patriots, but Matt Ryan might be in play for another team. The problem is Matt Ryan would be over $40 million of dead cap money to the Falcons. I just don't think they can do it. I think the Falcons might draft the quarterback, but that guy's going to sit for a year behind Matt Ryan, and then they trade Matt next year. Yeah, Fritzy. They got their own teams to worry about, but what are the Bills thinking today, or even Tom Brady, after that was his previous team? I'd be curious as to what's going through their mind, this Cam Newton one-year thing. So listen, I think all Brady really cares about is that the Patriots don't win the Super Bowl without him. And I don't think he's worried about Cam Newton winning the Super Bowl. He shouldn't be. Now, listen, they they didn't have a very good team around Cam last year. O-line was okay. The skill guys struggled. He'll have better people around him. They'll have a better feel for how to use him. But the Patriots are not winning the Super Bowl with Cam Newton. I mean... Yes. I mean more from a look at the mess that I left my former team with. They don't know what to do with the quarterback position. They're signing Cam for another one-year deal. No, can we just can we just put this out there, okay? Brady knows what the deal is. Brady knows that everybody's keeping score on what he does post-Belichick and what Belichick does post-Brady. And he's way ahead. And by the way, the Bucs might win it again this year. They at least have a decent chance. The Patriots are not winning a Super Bowl with Cam Newton. Is, it, is anybody out there, raise your hand if you think there's a better than 2% chance the Patriots would win the Super Bowl with Cam Newton. I don't think anybody would pick them to win the AFC East right now. I, right. Over Buffalo, I, I of course it's possible, but who would? I don't think no. anybody would. And then wait till the Dolphins or the Jets get to Sean Watson. Yes, McLovin. But what is the other option? What's, what's plan B? That's the problem. I think they looked at Cam, and plus it's bird in hand, right? Like the Patriots didn't want to go into free agency with nobody, and and we'll talk about the money. Let me ask you this, because I saw what it is now, but we all wrote down in the morning meeting, we all wrote down what we thought the contract for Cam would be. It's out now what it is. Let's start with you, Fritzy. I was extremely low. I thought they were going to give him $2.5 million, maybe some incentives that could get him to the 8 to $10 million range, but $2.5 million is okay. all I thought he was worth. McLovin. You're going to think I cheated. 13 Wow. Nice, McLovin. Seaton? I was going more in the 5 range. Okay. Paulie? $8 million. I had one year $10 million. I thought they'd get him the 10 One year $10 million. They, they gave him exactly what Roethlisberger's making this year. $14 million. That must be the, what you get if you're like a former MVP that's not what you used to be. That must be their going rate for guys that <laughs> good as they ever was. Go ahead, Seton. And uh, so, and what I'm reading is that 14 million is all incentives. So oh, really? What his so base, I didn't see that His yet. base pay is actually, if the, that 14 million is assuming everything goes perfectly this year and they win the Super Bowl. And if it doesn't go perfectly and they don't, I think it's going to be a lot less than that. Yes, McLovin. But high end backup money is like eight, right? Seven, eight, nine. So I guess this is like high, high end backup of like the Chase Daniels and the Case Keenums and all that. Yeah. Yes, Paul. The one thing I don't understand what McLovin is saying, you know, what choice did the Patriots have? They're choosing mediocrity. They're choosing to be in the middle at the quarterback position instead of going with a young guy who you reset the franchise or an older guy who can help you win. If you're not getting better at the quarterback position, you're getting worse. And wouldn't, if you're the Patriots, wouldn't you? I know they don't ever trade up at the court, at the, but they have the 15th pick. It's been a long time since they have a top 15 pick. If you're the Patriots, isn't this the year to make a move up? They haven't needed. Well, they the, still might. Right. It's but, a one year deal for not that much money. They're going to have much better guys around Cam. I think the Belichick thinks they can win double digit games with Cam and the revamped roster, get in the playoffs. You never know what happens. And by the way, if it goes south, they're going to have a first or second round pick quarterback. If you they're guys, gonna, they're going to have a rookie quarterback. 
if Cam doesn't play well, they're going to put that kid in. Ross, you're, you, let's pretend you're still playing and you're playing for the Patriots. And I said you had a vote. You could have Cam Newton for $15 million, and you don't care about the money, or Ryan Fitzpatrick this upcoming season. Both were available today. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Okay. Yeah. Better chance to win, right? What's that? Better chance to win, better health. I, I believe, look, I think a lot of these teams that need a quarterback, you know, the Bears, whoever, I always see Trubisky, Jameis Winston, you know, Mariota, Cam. Are we sure that those teams wouldn't win more games with Fitz? Are we sure about that? Because I'm not. He played well last year. Yes, Eaton. He's never made the playoffs. Who? Ryan Fitzpatrick. Okay. Which so what, team what exactly he are, been on? Right, but I mean, I'm just saying, if he gives the Patriots such a better chance of winning, he's a guy in his whole career he's never won. Well, they went 10-6 and six the one year with the Jets. So he did go 10-6. and six. You know, the weird thing about that, Seton, is I feel like he's playing his best football now. You know, he won five games with a Dolphins team that was trying to tank. 